welcome to day one of the 12 days of the Christmas story. Each day we're going to share a little piece of the Christmas story until we get to the surprise at the end, which is one of the best endings ever, isn't it? Yeah. The story starts off once upon a time, a long, long time ago in the city of Nazareth, back in the Bible days, there was a girl named Mary and a boy named Joseph. Now these two were engaged to be married and they were pretty excited about getting ready for their marriage, getting ready for their wedding preparations. Well, one day, as Mary was just kind of hanging out in her house, maybe getting stuff ready, maybe making some flour to make some bread, or maybe, who knows, she may have been crushing olives to make olive oil. <laughs> but she was busy in her house and then all of a sudden, an angel appeared. She was shocked. She's like, why is there an angel here? She was also a little bit frightened. So the angel Gabriel said to Mary, Fear not, Mary, because I'm bringing you good news that one day you are going to give birth to baby Jesus. He will be our savior. He'll be the king of kings. He'll be the one that we've been waiting for. And Mary didn't even get to pick out a name for her baby, did she? So God already had the name picked out. His name will be Jesus. So Mary was very puzzled by what the angel said. And then Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Then the angel answered her and said, It's because it's the work of God. It's not the work of man. Why, you'll have baby Jesus in your belly. And that holy thing that will be born into you, shall be the son of God. So you can imagine Mary was probably even more shocked now. She started off being puzzled and she was probably even more shocked now. What is Mary going to do? I mean, what would you do in this situation? If an angel came to you and said, you're going to give birth to a baby that you know nothing about? I'd say choose somebody else. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people probably would. They would say, you know, I don't think I can handle that. But the thought of having the Son of God in your womb, I mean, that would be really scary. You'd have to make sure you ate all the right foods and did all the right things because you wanted to make sure that you protected that baby inside of you. So it was a really big job. So what will Mary do? What will Mary say? We'll find out tomorrow as we continue the Christmas story. Stay tuned for day two of 12 Days of the Christmas Story. Boom, boom, boom. Well, thanks for watching with us. Bye. 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 But they were only about 16. Yeah, well, we don't know actually how old they were, but it probably was about that age, yeah. We are probably, they got married a lot younger back then, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs>